Christmas. Yes. How are you all? All right. All right. So I'm Cal O'Callaghan. My Cal O'Callaghan. How are you all? Um, so I've asked to go on first night. Now, now normally, uh, it, how many people have seen me before? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, not as many as I thought. Uh, I won't lie to you. It gets pretty fucking brutal. <laughs> right. And I'm not the best opening act, but. I have prepared some uh, nice gentle jokes to start us off before we get into the really sort of edgy, nasty stuff. Okay, so anyway, I'm a great believer in fair play. Um, I don't like I don't like double standards. Uh, anybody else the same? Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, <coughs> Katy Perry can sing a song uh, about kissing a girl and liking it, and it's just harmless fun. Uh, but when I sodomise an old geezer in the wacky warehouse, <laughs> it's, it's a major moral outrage. I mean, where's the fairness in that? Yeah. Now, uh, my girlfriend and I have been together for a little while now, and uh, we've given each other little pet names and everything. Like, I call her Sweet Pea. Yeah, because she's diabetic and I'm into golden showers. <laughs> Right, raise your hands if you've ever masturbated in a library. <laughs> just all right, just all right. I, I masturbated in a library once, uh, the librarian called the police, and when they arrived they asked me to come quietly. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I have been experiencing excruciating pain when I masturbate recently. Uh, last night it got so bad I nearly dropped the cheese grater. <laughs> Right, so we've got, we got some new faces here today, they're all right. They won't be back. <laughs> you, sir. You, sir. What's your name? Cole. Sorry? Cole. Cole. I haven't seen you before. Uh, you, you new to the bush? Yeah. Uh, how are you finding it so far? Uh. <laughs> I bet, uh, what's your name? Cole. Yeah. Cole. I bet you've got a lovely bit of girth on your cock, haven't you? <laughs> Probably not the longest cock in the world, but not, <laughs> nice and thick. Anyway, just, just how I like it. Not, not in a gay way, you understand. I mean, some people think it's gay for a man to show feelings or to show emotions or to suck another man's balls. <laughs> I've got some lovely ladies in tonight, so you, you better watch your name. Joanna, I, I'll tell you something, Joanna. You might be young and pretty, and I might be all old and haggard, but I, I bet you sort of, I'll bet you 50 quid I'll suck more cock than you. <laughs> I bet you've never even wanked off a tramp. <laughs> You've never lived. Never lived. <laughs> right, should we get down to it then? Shall I start? Right. <laughs> I was at a social gathering the other day, and um, I, there was this woman there, and she was being a bit offish with me, and I couldn't understand because I'd spoken to her earlier, and everything seemed alright. So I took her to one side, and I said, uh, "Look, have I said something to upset you?" And she said, "Yeah, you said you're a massive racist." I said, "No." I said, I'm a massive rapist. <laughs> she went, oh, sorry. <laughs> it was a genuine mistake, but uh, it put me right off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to be in the mood too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Got a bit of observational comedy. Do they, does anybody remember the old 5P pieces? You remember the old 5P pieces? No. Oh, oh, come on, there's got to be somebody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How, how old are you, mate? You look older than me, so if I can remember him, you can. I'm in denial. Yeah, that's fair enough. You remember, though, the old 5P yeah, yeah, yeah. You knew where you stood with the old 5P piece, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. You could get about 20 of them up for your arse and you'd be fine. <laughs> But these are uh, these little new ones. Yeah, you, you can keep going all day, you know. <laughs> 50, 51, 52. <laughs> Five, oh, fuck it, can't be bothered. Yeah, a bit of observational comedy. <laughs> now, I am told that the, these days that women can have orgasms. <laughs> yes. It is true, madam. I, I have looked it up. Honestly. Now, I've found that when it 
comes to uh, orgasms, there are only two, basic, basically there are only two types of women, uh, screamers and lip biters. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got our first screamer. And, <laughs> and I pride myself that I can tell uh, what kind of a warno just by looking at you. So I'm just going to go around the room, and uh, Francis we all know, uh, sorry, not, not through experience, but I think you've, you've shared <laughs> Um, I've forgotten your name already. Yeah, that's your problem. Yeah, that's your name. I'm not cheating. Um, lip biter. Uh, the lady next, next to you, uh, trying not to catch my eye, lip biter. Uh, yeah, you're giving me a really fierce so. look. You might, you, you, uh, you, 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 you want me to say lip biter, but you're really a screamer. <laughs> The lady next to you, also a screamer, and you, madam, lip biter, uh, I think, uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something, oh, there's a lady of miss there. I bet you've howled at the fucking moon. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I do that for one reason, and for one reason only, because to be honest with you, I don't care if I'm right or wrong. Uh, I only do that for one reason, it's because the next time that you ladies have a, an orgasm, you'll briefly think of it, mate. <laughs> and that'll bring me pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was at the uh, I was in the Chinese takeaway earlier, and uh, I was in the queue, and the uh, the bloke behind me tapped me on the shoulder, and he told me a joke. Now, normally I wouldn't tell other people's jokes, but I thought this was good. Do you, you want to hear it? Yeah. 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 Germ yao gao jian dou gao fa no kai. Koi ko jai man koi. Ba ba nei gam ya dou qin di ma yang mi yang qin na. Sub jian gao jian yeah. Wow, Lei Chan Hai Ho Sik Dou Chin Ah, Sak Chan Chi Hai Su Yat Chan. Lo Sak Gong, No Yat Di Chin Da Mo Yang. Do Sak Chan, Do Hai Gao Chan Yang Po. Maybe you had to be there. <laughs> It's a homophone. Gao Chung, it means nine races and dog grub. Fucking tough crowd. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you ever walked into a room and completely forgotten why you've gone in there and then come so hard that you shat yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that lady knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Shit and five pee pieces everywhere. <laughs> Like on some demonic fruit <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, people say you change as you get older. I don't think that's necessarily true. Uh, I still enjoy doing the same things I did when I was 13 years old. You know, listening to the Beatles, uh, reading a good book, uh, fingering 13-year-old girls. <laughs> <laughs> the, thing, the thing is though, when I was 13, I could get three fingers in and I can't get two. What's that all about? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of observation. <laughs> anyway, I don't have to come here anymore. Um, I'm <laughs> It's a massive laugh, and I don't really know. I've, uh, I've written a new book. You know, the uh, the uh, all the fuss has died down over that Fifty Shades of Grey shit. I, I thought I'd have a go at writing my own uh, erotic novel, and uh, so I've written this. It's called uh, Incest in Coventry. <laughs> It's got bumming in it. Uh, also, some water sports, uh, just female on male, because I wanted to keep it classy. Uh, and I'd like to read you an excerpt. Uh, sorry, a couple of pages are stuck together. Uh, bear with me a second. Gavin finished shaving when in walked his sister. He'd always fancied his sister because she had tits and everything. <laughs> he turned and held up his razor. If you want, I can trim your front garden, he said. And by front garden, I mean her family. <laughs> if you're going to do any kind of gardening work, you wouldn't use a big disposable, would you? It'd take all day. Have some imagination. 
<laughs> Ooh, Gail replied. Yes, please, she panted. And afterwards, you can take me up the Coventry Ring Road. <laughs> and by Coventry Ring Road, I mean her arse. <laughs> Although they both, both suffer from heavy traffic at peak hours. <laughs> Gail whipped her kit off pronto, right down to her as the tights. She should have gone to Tesco. As the tights get very saggy in the crotch when you're my height. I don't, I don't know that from personal experience, of course. I was told that by another transvestite. <laughs> Gavin looked at his sister with a look of pure animal lust, like a fat bird in a cake shop. <laughs> he leant forward and whispered in her ear, I'm going to knob you now. Ooh, brother, she said in a way that was equally, if not more, sexy. Gail liked her men like she liked her coffin in a thermos up the back passage. <laughs> if anyone does want a, a signed copy, I can uh, just come and see me after the show. Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, so I'm going to have to go in there, folks. Uh, no, no, I've got to go and practice with my band. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in an elbow tribute band. <laughs> Yeah, we're called us. <laughs> Most people are so stupid they can't tell the difference. <laughs>